Hey, Coach Grant here with Optimal Performance, and I'm gonna be going through a quick mobility routine, full body, that you can incorporate into your pre-workout, before game, or you can use it just as a standalone mobility workout from there. So we're gonna start off up at the neck, and we're gonna be working it down from there. For our neck, we're gonna work on some neck cars for today. All right, so what we've got with our neck cars, we're gonna take it super slow. You can go from a standing position, or if you wanna take a seat on the ground, you can do that as well. We're just gonna go from a seated position since we're already here. So what we're gonna focus on with these, hands down to the side, you can use it to brace so that we're staying up in a tall position. We're gonna start off just by tucking our chin down to our chest. From here, rotational before we go into our side to side. So I want you to think about scraping your chin along your sternum all the way until we feel like we hit a wall up at the top. You'll feel the back of the neck activated. From here, once we hit that wall, we're gonna go ahead and shoot that ear back over like we're trying to look at the ground over our shoulder. Again, we're gonna feel like we hit kind of a wall there. You might feel some tightness in through the front. From there, super slow, we're gonna reach up with that chin Take it back and around, looking over the opposite shoulder. Again, should feel it on this side from there. And then we're gonna take that chin down to our sternum, back to the chest from there, and then we're gonna reverse direction. So again, starting off with that rotation, scraping across, dive it back, looking over that shoulder, take it super slow on these. Check in and see if you have any pinching or pain. If you do, go ahead and avoid those areas. So sometimes we get pain in the back area. If you're going through, we'll take it back the opposite way. And if you find it gets painful here, just shorten up that range of motion to where it's not painful for you. Opposite side, but if it's pain free, go ahead and explore that range of motion a little bit. Let's get one more on the way back. Over that shoulder, big circle up with that chin, opposite side, chin to the chest, back to the middle from there. So now we've got it working there. We're gonna work down into the spine a little bit. We're gonna work on some segmented cat-cows. So with our segmented cat-cows, we're gonna be up in a quad position. And we're gonna start off down at the hips. We're gonna get two forward and back. Take it slow with these. What I want you to think about and why it's called segmented is we're literally just segmenting one section and one vertebrae of the spine at a time. So we're taking it super slow. I'm going into extension to begin with here. So one vertebrae as much as you can if you've never done these before. Um, it may feel weird, It may you may not be able to, there may be a block in that back where we feel like we're kind of hitting a wall. Once we get all the way up to the neck, just the opposite, starting back at the hips, we're gonna slowly start extending. One vertebrae at a time again. If you feel like it's really hard to control and as soon as you go to move the hips, your shoulders and neck and everything else are following along with it, this would be a good chance to really work on these as you go through, so all the way up. And then just the opposite, sinking down. At any point you want to spend a little bit more time on these exercises, feel free to pause the video and do a few more reps. We're just kind of speed firing through for today to make it a little bit quicker. Last one on the way back. Check it in. Take it slow. Drop it up. And then relax it from there. Next up, we're gonna roll it over and work it into the shoulders. So we're gonna work on some internal, external rotation. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and lie back, bringing our feet up to where we've got a neutral position with that low back. We're gonna go elbows straight out to the side, making fists with the hands. Big thing I want you to focus on with these is make sure we're not letting the back of the shoulders lift up off the ground, all right? So as we go through, especially internal rotation, that shoulder is gonna to wanna to lift up and then we're not really working shoulder internal rotation. We're just kind of dumping the scapula forward at that point. So lying back, Back of the shoulders against the ground, we're gonna start off into external rotation. So nice and easy. Elbows are staying locked in, we're rotating up. Feel free to pull into the ground a little bit for a little bit of activation. And then just the opposite, we're gonna bring it back up. Internal rotation, it should feel like it gets really challenging for you. Um, almost like we're engaging the muscles in the front of that shoulder, but again, make sure we're not just dumping off the ground. So fight it, pull it back, taking it back into the external rotation. Back up to the top and then back into that internal rotation forward. And then back up to the top from there. So let's go ahead and we'll get three of these today. Feel free to pause the video if you want to do a few more. Internal rotation forward and then relax it down from there. Moving back into the spine, what we're going to work on next is going to be some book opens. Now we're going to think about these a little bit different than book opens you may have done in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and face away from the camera. And what we're looking for on these Knees are going to be stacked up. We're going to use our bottom arm. I'll do this so you can see what's going on. Bottom arm is going to keep the knees against the ground. 
top arm, we're gonna go behind the ear. Now, a lot of times with these, what people tend to do is they just pull with that bottom arm and then they relax it back and they try to crank into it. What I want you to think about is back engagement with these. So what I want you to think about more is almost like we're drawing that shoulder back using our back muscle. So knees are staying on the ground, use your upper back muscle around that shoulder blade to pull down towards the ground. And then nice and easy, think about reaching that elbow forward. Again, use those upper back muscles, pull back, reach it back forward from there. Again, we'll get three here. Use those upper back muscles, pull back, pull back, reach it back forward, and then we'll switch over to the opposite side. So again, you'll notice on these that I'm not just pulling into the ground and torquing on that low back. You wanna think about engaging that upper back. So same thing on these. Use those upper back muscles to pull the shoulder blade towards the spine and then nice and easy back. I wanna think about feeling these more in the upper back and shoulder blades than I do the low back. Let's get one more here. Pull it back, reaching back forward. All right, next up we're gonna work into the hips. So we're gonna work some hip cars from a quad position. So back up to that quad position, hip cars or hip circles, what we're gonna work on with these is we're gonna start off with the left leg. We're gonna bring that knee up. Once we feel like we're hitting kind of a block here, and big thing on these, make sure we're not flexing or extending at that low back. So think about irradiation through the body, tense up that core, tense up the arms. We're gonna lift up till we hit a wall, then we're gonna go straight out to the side. Again, we're gonna feel like we hit a wall right about here. Try not to compensate by lifting those hips up, all right? So hitting a wall, and then from there, we're gonna rotate that heel up towards the ceiling, up to the top, squeeze your glute, control down, and then just the opposite, we're gonna drive up, Super slow out to the side, lock those hips in. Back around to the front, let's get one more here. Out to the side, rotate back, knees together, last one back through, driving back. Out to the side, rotating up and forward, and then we'll switch over to the opposite side. Same thing on this opposite side, we're gonna start off locking in the upper body and the hips and the low back, driving up. Shoot it out to the side, once we hit that wall, Rotate that heel up towards the ceiling, knees together. Back up, super controlled around. Now again with cars, it's a lot more controlled articular rotations. It's a lot more than just flying through circles. We wanna actually challenge the range of motion that we have in the hip capsule or whatever joint we're working on. We'll get three here because I'm talking. Um, but you wanna really try to maximize the range of motion that you're working on with those hips from there, all right? So again, feel free to pause the video, do a few more from those. Last one we're gonna work on today is a hip extension exercise. So what we're gonna work on with these, we're gonna create a block. So we're gonna shoot it back to where we're blocking in that low back with that lower leg. If you find that it's really hard for you and you've got really sensitive knees, um, you can stay a little bit taller up with it if you need to. Um, but if you've got the mobility and you can, go ahead and send it back. Elbows are gonna be on the ground, and with that back leg, I want you to lock that knee out, and we're engaging the glutes on these. So what we're gonna do from here is keeping that leg locked out, make sure that we're not shifting or adjusting our upper body. So create that irradiation, tense through the body, we're gonna see if we can lift that foot up off the ground, and then setting it back down from there. As you go through on these, we'll go ahead and get three. You should really feel a hard contraction in the glute as you go through, lift. Control back down. Might feel with the hamstring a little bit as well. Again, I recommend doing about eight to 10 of those. So feel free to pause the video. We're gonna shoot it over to the opposite side. Elbows on the ground, same thing. We're creating that block through that low back. Lock that back knee out. And then we're lifting, squeeze, control back down. And we're working on building strength in that fully extended position on the hip there. Let it back down. Let's get one more lift. And relax it back down there. And that concludes this mobility drill. Again, full body, feel free to add this in before your workout, before your game, or just as a standalone mobility workout from there. Let me know how you feel.